Hi folks, Steve here at Voss Trailers. Today we're going to take a look at a 2016 Winnebago Mini model 2401RG. This is the latest floor plans from Winnebago Mini. It's actually their longest one. It's 27 foot 11 inch overall length and it weighs just a little over 5200 pounds. It's a great floor plan, rear living room, you're really going to like it. So let's take a look at all the features this trailer has. It's got a stone guard at the front, tank cover, comes with a battery and battery uh, box. Fully enclosed under belly, large pass-through storage with LED lights, and one extra feature this here, we can see all the way to the end on the left there, it's a battery disconnect. So you're parking your trailer for a few weeks, you don't want the battery to drain, just switch this to off and that's it. It's going to be exactly the way you left it when you get back to your trailer. Uh, full enclosed under belly, I think I mentioned that already, gel coated. Now, there is a difference. We see a lot of trailers coming through the shop and uh, um, a lot of them are gel coated but not quite the quality of Winnebago. It's very consistent. It's one of the nicest gel coat we've seen on trailers. It's great. Uh, rain gutters with spout extension. Awning, outside speakers, patio light, radial tires and aluminum wheels. Large foldable and hand tree handles. Spare tire in the back with a cover. Detachable power cord. Gas electric water heater. Black tank flush. Cable satellite ready. We also have two gray tanks on this trailer. One for the kitchen only and one for the bathroom only. So it's kind of nice to have uh, two gray tanks. Both of them, now here's the difference, a lot of manufacturers will just make their connections separate. Both gray tanks are connected to the uh, sewer valve outlets. And they're actually uh, color coded handles as well. So you get two gray handles and one black handle and they're towards the middle of the trailer at the front. Awesome exterior. The, even the color, it's the champagne color from Winnebago. They do offer a lot of different sets of colors. So uh, you can look at their website uh, for more information on the color available. But uh, this is one of my favorite ones. A lot of customers like, oh, I like it a little dark. Well, in the yard, I tell you folks, when we walk into a trailer that's got a darker exterior, we really feel the difference in temperature. So I like the lighter color because it keeps the trailer cooler. Let's uh, take a look inside. Now, this is a, an older floor plan and it's uh, becoming again very popular. One of the features that I really like is uh, normally with the kitchen in the back you do get some uh, decent uh, counter prep space. It's very nice. And in this particular case they made the slide out a little deeper, a little larger. And uh, it allowed them to put a closet here, a hanging closet. So we'll get to this a little bit later. But let's start with the feature in the kitchen. Dometic uh, fridge, it's automatic. They put it up and it, uh, they give them enough room to put a nice little cubby hole here. So great for extra shoes or a case of water or something like that. Now Winnebago likes to cover the monitor panel, the light switch and control for the slide out. Keeps it neat and tidy. Microwave range hood with light. Stove top, all three burners are adjustable. There's an igniter and a small oven. Plenty of counter, stainless steel sink, with cover, plywood made drawers, even a little thicker than normally, like that very much, uh, ball bearing hardware for the gliders, so four drawers, plenty of storage underneath the sink, so pots and pans can go there, and definitely plenty of storage above, all the way nothing is missing. As far as space for the kitchen is more than than perfect. There's uh, all of our windows are also awning style so you can leave them open even if it rains. It's great. And there's there's pleated shades on all windows as well. All the interior lights are LED. We have a ducted furnace and a ducted uh, cooling system in here as well. The boot is pretty traditional. What Winnebago have decided to do is uh, to put two smaller window and have a spot for a TV in the middle so when you're sitting on the sofa it's right in front of you instead of turning your head sideways against the wall where most manufacturers will put their TV locations. 
Above the dinette we got again some storage, powers, and an AM FM CD DVD Bluetooth. It's got a USB connection and an auxiliary connection as well. So in the sofa area we have a storage above, a big window, and one small one on the side. Now this one opens which is great. As a rule, most manufacturers will add a window, but it won't open. It'll just be a fixed window. Now, this closet I really like. It's 24 inch wide and it's 60 inch in height. A uh, great spot for a hamper if you want, but if you want to bring some dresses or something like that, they're just not going to get wrinkled here. There's plenty of lights. So it's nice to have that little extra closet right in the hallway here and the spot to put your jackets if it's, uh, you know, not the summer. <laughs> All right, bathroom, real door, and talking about real door, we also have one for the bedroom. So let's take a look at the bathroom first. We got a nice little stainless steel sink, a medicine cabinet with two cubby holes on the side, LED lights again, there's two of them. You got a heat and AC vent in the bathroom. We have a porcelain toilet that's foot flush. We have a corner shower with a glass enclosure and surround and a skylight. And behind this door, there is a nice little linen closet. Now, second door to the bedroom. Big difference here. A true 60 by 80 queen size mattress with plenty of room at the foot to go around. That's very nice. There's also storage underneath the bed. A fairly large size here, uh, separate from the outside storage, which is kind of nice. It's got gas trot, and one of the features that I really like, it's William Bagos' little hidden secrets here. It's all plywood. Plywood underneath the bed, plywood underneath the benches, plywood for flooring, plywood for decking. It's plywood. No particle board in these trailers. Now, true queen size bed. One side, you get a little hanging closet, and the other side, they left it open for a night table with a power, uh, power outlets. <coughs> Very popular. I think a lot of people bring uh, reading glasses and a book, uh, an arm clock, a uh, CPAC machine now. So it's a perfect spot right there for it. There's storage above as well. Now, two windows, they both open, a roof vent and a door, screen door. So ventilation in the bedroom is going to be more than perfect. And if it's an issue, you can always leave the bathroom door open. There's a fan in the bathroom that can give you extra ventilation there as well. So I think we've done it, folks. Like I said, just over 5,200 pounds, less than 28 feet in length. This is a trailer you want to tow and hit the road. This is designed, and it's going to love it. It's designed to, uh, to those little whiny roads in the mountain and stuff. Definitely. So, new color this year, new color in the cabinet, it looks sharp, it's very bright, love it, great trailer. So if you guys need more information, please visit our website, there's a lot of information on there as well. And uh, if you need more, give us a call, we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.